Contents Creation Mode, which is the fourth quick key on the tablet, you can see that some of the icons have changed and there's now a remote control in the upper left hand part of the screen. In Teaching Creation Mode, we can create lesson backgrounds, time-lapse photography, and animation video. So, you can see here, I have a new icon where I can bring in different background images. When I click on this, I can choose which background I'd like to use. And down here, I can import images from my computer into the background. So, let's say we're going to bring in this image here. And I'm going to add a stamp. And now let's talk about whales and fish. So we can say that they both swim. They both have fins. The whale gives live birth. And the fish lays eggs. I can even add text to the background. And then with my select arrow, I can reposition the text. And if I go to the next menu, I can open up my edit window, which will let me change the color of the text. I can copy and paste. I can change the transparency. And I can move the text from the front or back in front of the image or behind the image. In contents creation mode, we're going to save by tapping on the save as icon down here. And then when we want to open previously created contents, we can click on the open. And I can find a different activity that I've created here. Now I can use my select icon to reposition these stamps. like so. In contents creation mode, we'll use the remote control to control the document camera. So we can zoom in and zoom out, focus, adjust the brightness, and pause the image using this remote. Also, we can press this REC button. A window will come up now we can do regular video recording, time-lapse photography. Before we do time-lapse, we'll come down here and choose our recording interval. We can tell the camera to take a picture every second, every three seconds, every five seconds, every five minutes, up to 24 hours. We'll choose one minute. You'll press OK. And then you'll press the start recording here. When you're finished with your time lapse, you'll stop the recording, and then you can go back and find the video in your contents folder. This is where you'll find your time lapse video. I'll show you this example here. We can see how the water travels up this tree and crystals start to form. To make this, we just took a picture every few minutes for a few hours and you can see how this tree transforms. Again, we can play it back, we can pause it, we can play it in slow motion, we can speed it up, and of course we can annotate on the video. The last option in our recording window is animation. When we click here and press OK, we can start a recording and then manually capture the images by pressing this Take Picture button.
So I'll capture an image and then I can reposition my object, take another picture, change the position again, take a final picture and then stop the recording. And then again to review the video that we just made, we'll go to our contents folder and now we'll be able to see our animation. This is an example of animation sent in by some students who went to the museum, they learned about mummies and they came back and used their Elmo document camera to show us how to make a mummy. When you are finished using the tablet, hold down the power button for three seconds. Insert the pen in the back of the tablet along with the wireless adapter.